Seventh, and this, I believe, qualifies the previous point, friends, Christian friends, are careful, are careful. True friends speak the truth, point six, in a winsome manner, point seven. The golden rule of, of, of the physician is do no harm, right? At least that's supposed to be the golden rule. Like a, abortion is a clear violation of that golden rule. But a goal, the golden rule of, of the physician is do no harm. Now does that mean never cut open? No, of course not. But it does mean don't cut open needlessly or in a way that will ultimately hurt the person. We need to be willing to wound our friends, but not needlessly, not recklessly, carefully. Paul considered Philemon to be a dear friend. We read that in Philemon 1, verse 1. And we see how he dealt with his friend. He had some firm things to say to his friend about taking his slave Onesimus back to him. But Paul deals with him as a brother, as a friend, with carefulness. Not pounding on him. In fact, remember Paul says, I could speak strongly to you, Philemon. After all, you owe your life to me. But I speak to you as a brother. Uh, in, other, in other words, don't always say the whole truth. Don't always say the whole truth. Now, does that sound controversial? Uh, Jesus didn't always say the whole truth. He didn't always say the whole truth. This is what Jesus says in John 16, verse 12. Jesus says, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. Jesus says, I could go through a list a mile long of things that I could tell you, things that you need to hear, areas where you're coming up short, things that you need to improve on. But Jesus says, you can't bear them now. That's wisdom, isn't it? It's not cowardice. It's wisdom. True friends are careful with, their fr with, with the way they talk to their friends. A, reckless, a person who's reckless with their words will have few friends, if any.